Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergargar.com. In this video we will look at how to calculate an average from a range excluding the zeros. So I've got an example of such a range on screen at the moment where I have these 12 uh, example exam scores and we're imagining that two people uh, did not show for the exam meaning that they automatically score a zero and that has been entered onto this sheet. Now beginning with cell D4 here, if I just demonstrate with your normal average function to calculate a mean average, if I just put equals average, oops, that was if you choose the right function of course, uh, equals average, and if I select the range of cells I'm looking at averaging, and I'll close in bracket that, that will calculate an average from that list. But that average includes the zeros in its calculation. So it gives us an aggregate of 59, but that is including the two zeros, which you may want to do. But in this example, we're imagining that, you know, that's a not a true representation of the average exam score. You know, we can only really take into account those who turned up. We're not looking at the pupils as a whole. We're looking at the actual people who stood it, uh, who took it, and the relative score. So, in cell D7, we are going to use the average if function. So we can calculate an average, but we can provide a condition. And our condition will be to avoid the zeros. Now, average if came out in Excel 2007, I believe. So if you are using a version prior to that, you might want to look at a different technique to what I'm going to demonstrate in this video. And there are ways of doing that. Do not fear. <laughs> but assuming that you have a version 2007 or later, we can use average if. And we can provide that range of exam scores as before and we can then provide a criteria and this criteria will need to be entered as a string like you may have done with sum if and count if before and the string is going to be greater than zero I want to say only include in the average the values that are greater than zero and that will avoid the zeros in this list now I do not need the last argument from this function. This is asking me to provide a range because the range I'm testing is the same one I want to use in the average. I do not need to provide it. If it was different, you would need to provide the values at that point. I can put a closing bracket and press enter. And we have the average without the zeros, which we can see is notably more than the that standard average on its own, that as I mentioned, includes them. So by using average if, we are able to supply uh, any condition of note, but in this example, we're able to exclude the zeros from our average calculation. Thank you for watching. I hope you find this tutorial useful. Please check out some of our other tips at computergaga.com.